All right, so there's a rain barrel I garbage picked. It had a crack along the bottom of it that was popped up a little bit. So I used my little hammer and I got it all even. And then I cut a piece of this metal out of it and used the heater. Yeah, that's a heater I use for work, not for smoking other crap. All right, and so as I heated it, I pressed it in to the plastic, but you have to hold it in place and blow on it. You hold it in place and you blow on it, and the metal actually forms inside of there and holds the plastic together. It melts the plastic together and holds on in there. Now, I'm trying this right now, the Gorilla Clear Grip, but I'm hoping that it just fills in the crack. I want the structure of it to hold with the metal, but we'll see about this one. But here's my trusty flex tape but this is not for the outside right here the flex tape after this dries i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to put a big one or two pieces all the way across this on the inside of it and the flex tape should be able to hold that together and then uh we'll get back to you on this video to see if that rain barrel does hold this is like a 35 40 dollar rain barrel that a garbage picked but it had the crack in that so i mean even if you're working on cars fenders or whatever all I use is this little piece of metal. You cut it to the shape you need it. You use a heater and you push that all the way in. And realistically, you could fiberglass that and bondo that. And then it'll hold the plastic together pretty good. All right, uh, we'll check tomorrow when I'm going to put this on. I'm going to just let that dry overnight. That is just Gorilla Glue. I know epoxy would have been better, but this is really late at night. So I didn't epoxy this whole thing. If you would have epoxied this whole thing, it would have held better. But this is just Gorilla Glue that I'm going to let to dry overnight. And the flex tape is going on the inside of the barrel. If I could squeeze my fat butt in there. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. All right, there's the, gear, the rain barrel that I garbage picked. You see, there's the uh, wire that I melted into the rain barrel. I heated them up. And like you tack weld, I did it, let it cool down, and I did the pieces that weren't in there. So I brought this out. This is still sticky. This is not hardened yet at all. So we're going to see if this holds, but then on the inside of it, there is the flex tape. So the flex tape will compress more with water in it. There's two pieces of flex seal tape. They'll compress more with water in it. And then this right here is going to just dry out in the sun right now. I have one other, you could put a spigot right here to, to you know, drain for water. This is where the hose is going to be. And this would crack off right here. This would be the overflow. That cracked off right there. But the treads are still good. But I think that's too small of an overflow, personally. Okay, so you got to follow me because it's going to be the last video of repairing this. All right, that's the last video of repairing the rain barrel until I go ahead and uh, fill it with water and put the marbled crayfish in it. Now the rain barrel is going to go right here at the downspout. That's going to be taken out right there. It's all going to be cleaned out and I'm going to stack like four cinder blocks because it has to be higher than where the plants are going to be. It has to be higher. So I'm going to stack four cinder blocks, eight cinder blocks, and I'll probably have to cut this back right here. So this way, the uh, your lowest where you do the hose has to be higher than where you want the water to come out at all the way down. So this will probably be cut back. And then this is going to go into the side of the rain barrel where the overflow is this right here because this goes all the way out the front of the house what happens is this is lower than the city street so anything that overflows comes in this area and would flood it so this comes down and goes out the city street i got the gutter up to there i didn't finish because i got some chimney work to do then after the chimney work is done will be good for the next 100 years I'll finish that out there, but I'm gonna leave this downspout for the rain barrel. And that's gonna be all fabricated, so stay tuned for that video also. All right, talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.